morning. Welcome to the Catholic Apostolic Church in North America. Uh, today we're streaming Mass from St. Jude the Apostle Mission, uh, my residence, and I am uh, presiding bishop, Anthony Santori. And if you'd like to know more about the Catholic Apostolic Church in North America, go to www.cacina.org and find out a parish near you. And when the pandemic is over and you can feel comfortable, come visit us. We'd love to have you all are welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, acknowledge your failures, failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts, in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God the Father, mercy through the death and resurrection of his Son has reconciled the world to himself. He sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins and through the ministry of the church. May God grant you pardon and peace. And by his authority, I absolve your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God the Father of mercy through the death and resurrection of his Son has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sin. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, through Cecil, Cereal, Cereal of Jerusalem, you led your church to a deeper understanding of the mysteries of salvation. Let his prayers help us to know your son better and to have eternal life in its fullness. We ask this through Christ our Lord, for who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then that let me alone then that my wrath may blaze up blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. 
Our fathers made a calf in horror and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, O oh Lord and Savior, your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O oh Lord and Savior, your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, and Savior, your people. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. 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 Jesus said to the, G to the Jews, If I testify on my own half, my, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. He sent emissaries to John, and, testi testify and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He had, was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the work that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard this voice, nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you. Because you do not believe in the one whom he, he has sent, you search the scriptures because you think you, you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but do you not want to come to me to have life? I do not accept human praise, moreover. I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you accept him. How can you believe when you accept the praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. This one will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed in Moses, you would have believed in me, because he wrote about me. But if you don't believe his writings, how will you believe my words? This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. The Gospel's a little confusing today when you listen to what uh, Jesus is saying goes back and forth about the Father, about St. John, and all this kind of stuff. But the, what Jesus is responding to is that the Jewish people were looking for signs from Jesus. Uh, and they were using the law uh, from Deuteronomy that says, in order for things to be true, you need three witnesses uh, to uh, attest to you to make sure that things are true. So if you don't have three witnesses, we're not going to listen to you. So Jesus comes, came back to him and he said, look, I have three witnesses. One, I have John the Baptist. And two, I have my father. My father who at, my bapti at his baptism said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. At the transfiguration, he said, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. And m numerous times Jesus performed miracles. And those miracles were his self-testimony that God had sent him because nobody has control over the living and the dead except the Lord. And Jesus was the only one that could do that. So Jesus, Jesus told you know, the uh, Israel, uh, Israelis or the, the Pharisees and the people that were contesting his messiah message, me, messianic message, he told them, look, he says, there, it, everything is right in front of you, but yet you don't believe and, and he gave them a couple reasons why they don't believe. He told them they were hard-hearted. They were interpreting the scriptures wrong. 
and they weren't listening to uh, the physical or the people that testified to Jesus like St. John. So what does all this all mean to us? How many times do we worry about our own faith? How many times uh, do we kind of falter in our belief and so on and so forth? So how many times do we search for miracles or search for signs that says we're, doing, we're on the right track? You know, many times, I mean, everybody has their highs and lows in their, in their faith, you know, in their faith journey. And when you have those lows in your faith journey, the most important thing is to turn to Jesus, to pray, to read the scripture, to understand that the validity and the authority that the God the Father has given Jesus Christ to be your Savior. And then take a moment to uh, do a little reflection on how much do you reflect Christ in your life? How much do you take the mission and the authority of Jesus and take, show it to other people? And how much do you care for people around you? So, uh, and this last, as we come down to the final weeks to Lent, think about how much of a Christian am I really? And how much do I bring the light of Christ to everybody uh, that I meet and that I have occasion to contact? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are the work of God's hands. Even in times of trouble, He does not abandon us. Rather, He brings us into the light. <clears throat> in quiet trust, we present the needs of the church and the world, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who fear draw, drawing closer to God, that the Spirit will free their hearts from fear and lead them into an experience of God's love for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For freedom of the Spirit, that we may surrender our desire to save ourselves and allow God to heal us, and to raise us to new life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all experiencing persecution, that God will preserve them from harm, give them strength, and help them to witness to God's love and faithfulness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of wounds of racism, that God will raise up all who have been wounded by racism and prejudice, and inspire us with new ways to build a community of justice and cooperation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering, that God's unending love will bring health to the sick, food to the hungry, shelter to the homeless, and jobs to the unemployed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a renewed spirit of stewardship that we may efficiently use the natural resources entrusted to us and work to share them with those who are in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering, especially Chris Matheson, Anthony DeSalas, Tiffany, Dorothy and Donald Doherty, Father Edgar, Margaret Mahoney, Owen Dunn, Hannah Dunn, Margaret Southern, Marilyn Bugliata, Amanda DeRuda, Lorraine and Seas, Ramona Bauman, <coughs> Preston Ray, Stephanie, Robert Shipley, Franz Theogen, <coughs> Renee Starrett and Amanda Pittman, Mary Beverina, Stacy Riggershofer, Father Michael Dakota, Vera Green, Marie Patalkas, Dennis and Nancy Meir, Bishop Ron Stevens, Andre Hayes, Deacon Victor Ayelga, Cheryl Davis, Father Vic DeSantis and his family, Ken Markovich, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please take a moment to add your own intention. For these and our other unspoken intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God's presence and power are the only reality. 
wherever we are god is and at the level of spirit we are always protected we thank the lord amen lord jesus christ you said to your apostles i leave you peace my peace i give you but not on our sins but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom we live forever and ever amen, amen. peace the lord be with you always and also with let you. us share with each other a sign of peace peace be with you peace be with you john Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in the human hands of made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer through the divine work of human hands who will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Now pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. Let us pray. All powerful God, look upon our weakness. Make the sacrifice we offer bring us purity and strength. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through our observance of Lent, you correct our faults and raise our minds to you, and you help us to grow in holiness, and we offer us the reward of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels and all the choirs of heaven worship in all before your presence. May our voices be one with them as they sing the, with joy the hymn of your glory, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We use Eucharistic prayer number two. Father, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts and make them holy so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up the death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread, he gave you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup, and again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died Christ, Christ is risen, Christ, Christ, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Anthony, our bishop, and all the bishops, and all the clergy, and all the people your son has gained for you. Remember our brothers and sisters who've gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, and make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God with the apostles and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with with him, him, in him, him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray with confidence to the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, you have brought forth life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you. Jesus, Behold, this is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but say these words, and I shall be healed. Jesus, we believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things, and we desire to receive you into our soul. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. In the body of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Let us pray. I will put my law within them. I will write it on their hearts, and I shall be their God, and they will be my people. Lord, may the sacraments we receive cleanse us of sin and free us from guilt. For our sins bring us sorrow, but your promise of salvation brings us joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you. This is usually the time for announcements. I would like to uh, ask you, I hope you enjoy uh, the celebration of Mass by our different parishes. And in the coming week, uh, there will be a few more parishes join us for the 9 o'clock Mass. So uh, to give you the uh, full feeling of the Catholic Apostolic Church in North America. So now please, uh, bow your heads and ask for God's blessing. Lord, have mercy on your people. Grant us in this life the good things that lead us to the everlasting life you prepared for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, 
the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the world. Thanks be, be to God. God. The Mass is ended.